Well, today, Governor Gavin Newsom said California has completed a million coronavirus tests, and Kern County is expecting to add to that number with nine new testing sites. 17's Karen Hua has a breakdown of everything you need to know about the process. Who, what, when, where, how, and why are there so many new testing sites coming to Kern County? Well, increased testing is one of the criteria Kern must meet to reopen faster. So the county is making tests free and available to virtually anyone who wants one. It also meets one of the criteria, one of the benchmarks for us to ask for regional variants. At the very beginning, there were only for-profit testing centers like Priority and Accelerated Urgent Cares. They charge through insurance and copay. So the county launched three testing sites, paid for completely by the state. Tests have been free, but available mostly to essential workers and those with symptoms. There's a drive through at the Prado Senior Center in Northeast Bakersfield and appointment walk-ins at the fairgrounds and the Mojave Veterans Building. If we can identify cases that are either asymptomatic or have yet to develop symptoms earlier, we could intervene sooner and that would help limit uh, potential spread and limit additional cases. So soon there will be six more free testing sites sponsored by the county. The difference between the county sites is that there is no screening criteria. So anyone can be tested regardless of symptoms. Where they'll be? One at the Westside Family Health Center in Taft, one at the Good Samaritan Hospital in Oildale, one's at Kern Valley Hospital, Ridgecrest Regional Hospital, Delano Regional Medical Center, and another in Arvin. All locations, though, is free. There's no cost. Some will be drive throughs where you're tested at your car window. Others will be walk-ins, where you're tested inside a clinic. All require appointments. And what the test feels like? The nose swab looks like a six-inch long Q-tip, stuck up your nostril for a few seconds. The county testing sites that are currently open have been telling people results take up to 48 hours. But some have reported to us, they still haven't gotten results in a week. The county was not available for comment. We also want to ask if there's a limit on how many times you can get tested for free. And to be considered recovered, do you need a negative test? The idea is let's find a way to identify cases earlier and intervene earlier so that we not only get a better understanding of the scope of the virus in our county, but also to to further limit its ability to transfer from person to person. Now, while some locations are still being determined by the county, we'll have a map of each of those locations updated on our website, kget.com. We'll also have a list of the updated hours and a link where you can make an appointment. In Oildale, Karen Waugh, 17 News.